It's a cold night in the middle of winter, and it's time for America's hero to step up and make the delivery. What's up, guys? And welcome back to some more Alaskan Road Truckers. It is freezing outside. Look at our windshield. We're already icing up. Can we get these get these wipers rolling that's going to help us out a little bit let's uh let's make sure the heat is on i think it's it's on right now there it is all right we probably want to try to scrape the windows a little bit we're going to get back into some ice road trucking today if you guys saw the last episode things didn't necessarily go well you got to make sure you keep driving on the ice you you cannot stop for anything so let's go ahead and uh get this scraper going now one thing that's a little bit concerning for today i'm just gonna pretend like it's not an issue and we're gonna hope for the best it wants us to put on a radiator cover so it says it's it's a little bit too cold outside for the radiator but if we try to do that it says you need a radiator cover and uh, we are currently way up in the north there are no shops or anything there's a gas station over on this side but that's not where we're going so I don't think there's anything we can do. I think we just have to hope the truck's going to be able to make it, and uh, we're going to try to do our delivery. Now, this is our load here. This is some excavator equipment. Looks like we got a couple of big buckets we're going to be putting on an excavator. This is just absolute necessity to do this super late at night during the middle of a snowstorm. You know, there, there's a cave full of children and puppies at the same time that need this excavator equipment uh, as, as fast as possible, so... We're going to uh, to see if we can get this up north to them and maybe bring some stuff back as well. We'll see how it all works out, but uh, they've hired us. And if the money's there, we don't care, baby. We're, we're going to risk life and limb to be able to get that paycheck. So we're going to pull in here. All right, looks good. Throw our handbrake back on, and uh, we're, we're going to have to set this trailer up. Lock her in place. Let's lift up these support beams get these sockets plugged in here i don't think we're gonna have much traffic or anything we're gonna have to worry about but let's make sure we keep things legal get everything connected i'm pretty sure don't these work the tail lights and stuff honestly i'm not sure your boy bought a cdl off the internet off ebay so i'm just kind of hoping for the best handbrake off and off we go let's let's get out of here hopefully not gonna go for a swim this time around and hopefully gonna be able to make this delivery in the deep dead of night ice pick mining thanks for your vote of confidence this is gonna be interesting this is a totally different route than what we tried to take yesterday let's actually take a look at that so we are going to be going up into the mountain and then over the lake whereas the one yesterday was just all the way over the lake i mean to be honest i, I kind of like this one a little bit better we've got some more varied terrain we're going to be working with we've got uh you know a little little bit more challenge it's not just all driving on a frozen lake, which apparently we couldn't handle before. I'm, I didn't know you couldn't stop. It kind of makes sense. It goes back to buying that CDL off eBay. Probably probably could have, you know, done some training on that. But is there like an ice road? What's the word I'm looking for? Like a, a extra thing that you could do to, to earn that ice road checkbox on your commercial driving license? I'm, I'm not sure, but we're just going to get straight into it here today. And we're going to hope for the best. Dude, this is beautiful beautiful can you imagine it is negative 17 degrees outside negative 17 fahrenheit and we are going up the side of a mountain if we run out of gas we die if we get stuck we die if we go a little bit too far to the right on the side of this cliff we die this is not good these are straight up blizzard conditions and the only thing we have to rely on is ourselves and our equipment, which we're not taking care of because we didn't put the radiator cover on. So we're just going to kind of hope for the best there. Not a single other soul out here. Oh, goodness. All right. Yep, we're we're digging. I've been missing SnowRunner. This is giving me heavy SnowRunner vibes here. Are we going to be able to make it out of this? Here we go. Just keep on chugging, girl. We still have our chains on from the last episode. So hopefully just going to be able to slowly but surely make our way through this blizzard and survive to tell about it. Not even a road here. What, what are we traveling on? And this is like a, a dirt path, maybe? It's marked by the flags here. The way the snow's coming down, those are going to disappear at any moment. Good news is we've got mass on our side, so we should be able to kind of keep plowing through the snow as long as we keep our speed up. Oh, my goodness. But with speed comes a little bit of treachery. This is taking full concentration here. Still have 100% on our trailer. We've got five and a half hours to complete this. We discovered the Hornet Passage. So this this is a real road, I'm imagining. Everything about this game thus far has been real. Like, th this is a real 
thing that truckers will, will go and do. I'm gonna try to look up the Tornet Passage and see if I can get you guys some photos of it. We've got a bridge here, yep, so that, that means we're on the, the right path here. Kind of slowed down there a little bit. I don't know what that was about. I really hope we're not running into any issues with the radiator. It's, she's she's rad. She's, she's throwing some engine issues down there in the bottom right, but we're just going to hope for the best. Come on, girl. Let's go, Betsy. Just keep pushing. We're going to make it. We have not the newest or most powerful truck in the game, too, so we're going to be careful about that. Again, we got to keep our, our momentum up. You got to be looking ahead, Trev. It's like a race car driver. Always be looking at the apex in front of you and just try to, try to keep that speed up. You don't want to get stuck out here. I literally don't think there's anything else we could do if we got stuck. I think we go back to square one and obviously that's not what we want to do here. GPS says take a right. All right. Don't have to tell me twice. Go straight. Oh god. The, either I'm on some sort of drug or the windshield's starting to ice. Okay. We're going straight downhill here. This is not good. Slow it down. Slow it down. Don't go off the cliff there. Dude, everything kind of looks like a road when you've got this blanket of white. We gotta make sure we stay exactly where it wants us to. Through the trees here. Windshield is definitely icing over. I mean, our, our wipers are doing the Lord's work so far, but oh my goodness. Okay, here's a bridge. Get up onto the bridge. Oh my God, bro, what is going on? Where are we? Dude, this is insane. I kind of wish it was daytime. We learned about how not to do that in the last episode, but at the same time, this nighttime is, is kind of a vibe. All right, uh, left or right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume right. Let's go right. Come on. Again, don't slow down too much, Trev. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Crank the wheel, crank the wheel. There you go. I can't imagine actually trying to traverse this in a semi-truck, dude. This is outrageous. Here we go. This is nice. Got our speed up. Want to slow down. Want to try to carry that speed uphill as much as we can so we don't end up getting stuck, but we're okay so far. Got another bridge off to our right here. I think we're going to be crossing that in a moment. Going to go under whatever this thing is. Just a fallen tree. Okay. Oh, we've got a lookout point here. Oh, 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 oh. We're good. And I think our handbrake's over here, so we're just gonna hit that. Let's get out. We got a, a point of interest. I believe we have our camera, right? Yep, we got our camera. Dude, this is really cool and kind of terrifying at the same time. What do we have going on here? Steel Mountain Bridge, a bridge built by the Ice Pick Mining Company, allowing heavy loads to be transported to local mines. Mining in Alaska includes commodities such as coal, lead, zinc, silver, and even gold. The Alaskan gold rush took place from 1832 to 1913, started by the discovery of deposits near the Kaskaskwin River. Okay, so the Steel Mountain Bridge. Here we go. Take a photo of that bad boy and uh, got some XP. Let's go finish the job. I mean, this, this is a vibe though. Look at this. Look at all the, the giant snowflakes. I just want to uh, catch one on my tongue. Haven't done that in a long time. Here we go. Back. Uh, actually, you know what? We should probably let's let's clean this thing up. We're going to keep in mind any maintenance, anything we think we're going to have to do, we want to do before we get to the ice. Let's, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to stop our windshield from icing over. So let's let's hit it now and then let's maybe hit it right before we go out onto the ice so we don't run into any issues. Luckily, it's a video game, so we've got a third person view if we get in too much trouble. But yeah, that, that looks a lot better right there. Release the handbrake and uh, here we go over the bridge. Oh, my goodness, dude, this is insane. Look at us go. All right. Got a left-hander here. Let's not... Oh, oh, we're fine. Try to do, like, the cinematic twirls and things like that. Sometimes it doesn't work out. We've got 160 miles to go, 4 hours and 14 minutes to do it. I mean, I, I think we've got plenty of time. I think this is one of those scenarios where slow is smooth and smooth is fast, but... At the same time, I want to make sure we get paid, so let's not lollygag. The snow is stopped, but it looks like we might be approaching our first lake here. I think we might have a land bridge over it. I want to make sure we're not going too fast. We know that's an issue. Look at somebody's cat. Oh, there's another, there's another thing out there. Are we good to stop here? I think we're good to stop here. I got to see this point of interest. These are the most interesting parts about this, bro. Who lives out here? And how cool is that if you did? It's a little bit scary. A tiny bit scary, but it's, it's, it's very, very cool. Interesting. It's just kind of like a little hangout. Is this for truckers or hikers or 
What's the point of this? I don't know. Despite its name, it's actually a single glacial lake with an unusual shape. Its shallow part remains frozen all year round. Modest Cottage located here is rented to visitors who dream of spending their vacation away from the city. Due to high demand from tourists, rental prices are staggeringly high here at Twin Lakes. Interesting. So it's so shallow that it remains frozen all year long, even during the summertime, which in Alaska, it gets hot. You know, it'll get up into the 90s. I've, I've been in Anchorage when it was like 92 or 3 or 4 or something like that, but it stays frozen. That's honestly kind of incredible. Back on the grind here, baby. Looks like we've got a, uh, a bridge. Your truck's in poor condition. Consider contacting roadside assistance via the CB radio. Again, we're just gonna have to keep pushing here. I mean, we've got, there's a yellow indicator down there. We're, we're gonna be fine, right? Right? I hope so. Could probably shut our wipers off here. We don't have, oh. Just kidding, there's rain, interesting. How is it, maybe it's, we're running into snow and it's just melting and when it hits the, the windshield, or the, yeah, the windshield is the word I'm looking for. We're gonna turn those back on. I was gonna say, how is it raining if it's negative 24 degrees outside? Also, uh, looks like our engine warning went away. It's, it's just like real life, you know? If, if you get any sort of a bad engine light that comes on, if you just ignore it for long enough, it goes away every, every time. It just honestly really stresses me out that any single one of those, like if, if I just have a little lapse in judgment, if I don't pay attention for half a second and we dip a tire off, you're, you're done. Obstacle on the road, what are you talking about? Where's the obstacle? Did you guys see an obstacle? That scared me there. But yeah, we, we come around the corner and we, we have a bit of a slide and, and go down the side there like we're, we're not getting out. We can call on the CB radio to have somebody come pick us up, but I'm imagining it's going to reset us back to where we started. We're not really on like real roads out here. This is like a specialty DLC area. Okay, sliding a little bit there. We're good to go. Looks like we have almost made it. Let me pause this for a second. Let's take a look at the map. We have almost made it to the ice portion, and then that is kind of the final leg of this. There's there's one more little segment on land, but things are looking pretty good. Keep in mind, this is gonna be our last chance to do anything with our windshield. So before we get out on the ice, let's take a little break. Put our handbrake on. Wanna make sure we're not sinking or anything here. Let's hop up, dust off the old windshield a little bit. I wish we had some sort of a defroster. I feel like it's a very inefficient way of doing things. There's gotta be something. I mean, can I hang my head out the window as we're driving so that we don't end up sinking into the lake, but we can still clear it off? I don't know. This might be the last time we gotta clear it. Hold on. So what down here, Trev? Oh my goodness. Okay, the pressure is officially on. So we cannot go over 20 miles an hour, but we also can't go too slow. And we've just got to make our way across the ice here. There's no funny business, no getting out, no taking a break. You've just got to keep going. If we go up over 20 miles an hour, you're going too fast and you'll break it. If we slow down, I don't want to slow down too much. I, I went down to four miles an hour there. That's just, it's, it's not worth messing with, but... We learned the last one. If you're stationary, it'll it'll break as well. So Ooh, we're just gonna we're just gonna be a good little driver here. We're gonna think happy little thoughts. And we're gonna make our way over to the other side of this river with this giant 20 ton try. Is it 20 tons? I have no idea how much a semi weighs. Can you imagine 60 miles of this? Having to listen and potentially hearing the ice break under your tires? Just hoping for the best, hoping that whoever came out here and, I don't know, mountaineered this for you, what's the, what the you know, cleared the path for you, hoping that they tested right and they their path is right, their methodology is right, everything is correct, that you're not going to go for your final swim. Also, I will say, I feel like the timing is a, a bit aggressive. We're down to under two hours and 25 minutes, so we got to stay on the, the upper end of the speed here. This is so crazy, dude. Looking over at the other you know, side of the lake with all the trees and everything and just knowing you're out in the middle of nowhere. You you are you are all alone out here. Holy cow. Not a good feeling, but we've almost made it. The end is in sight. Let's not lose focus now. Last little stretch here. Floor it. I was really trying to make it like super climactic at the end there and like, oh yeah, we, we you know, almost sunk it, but we got on a dry land and I, I thought I might have 
missed it or something. So that's a spot where a ferry during the summertime is gonna take you, but we're just gonna finish things off by driving straight up the side of this mountain. Dude, look at how freaking beautiful this game is, man. There's not a town in hundreds of miles to pollute the lot out here. It's just us in the great beyond, just floating through time and space. It's beautiful. Makes you question why we're running mining equipment all the way out here in the middle of a blizzard. Just chasing humanity's selfish dreams. And we could be out there amongst the stars. But you boys gotta pay rent, so we just gotta keep on pushing. Come on, baby. Keep pushing. We are really struggling getting up this this mountain here, but we're gonna be okay. One thing that I think we need to start doing more of, and I didn't actually do until just right now, is you've got this, the logbook down there, so that you know, each job lets you save once or twice, and I, I feel like that could have saved our ass a couple of times now. So, we've got a save from about two minutes ago where we've got 100% and plenty of time to do it. 13 miles to go, hour and 27 minutes on the shot clock, we got this. Matter of fact, it's all downhill from here-ish. Kind of. At least this part's down. Oh my goodness, dude, we are going 40 miles an hour through the woods. And over the hills we go, off to the right, and this is our objective. Y'all really had to have these big buckets. It was, it was critical. Again, we had the, the children and the, the puppies, you know, all, all in this, the same uh, hiking group. I, I don't know how they got out there by themselves, but we gotta, we gotta go save them. I'm gonna assume there's a big area there, but we've also got this over here next to the office. So I'm gonna assume this is where we want to set things up. Let's pull this in here. Is this right? We got a four star in the parking precision. Honestly, I'm fine with it. Handbrake's on. Let's let's go complete this, this job. We probably should have swung that a little bit wider so we could have had the trailer straight, but honestly, four star is, is not the end of the world. So this is our office. Where do we... We've got an hour and 19 minutes. We could fix it if we wanted to, but I feel like it's really not that big of a deal. Let's just go ahead and lock this thing in park the trailer in any available cargo dock in this location well do you want it there or do you want it back in the other spot confusing me a little bit here i'm gonna try to back this thing up let's hope we don't end up getting stuck small tilt to the wheel here to make sure we don't end up jackknifing there we go i'm gonna bring her back around this way we're gonna try the front door but i'm wondering if the the big cargo area over near the entrance is where we actually want it oh this Ooh, okay. I was gonna try to go around, but I feel like that's a bad idea. So we're gonna we're gonna pull this here, and we're gonna see. We gotta flip this thing around. Come on. Now it's oop oop oop. Start shoot. Start turning the wheel. We're gonna have to get her straightened out. We gotta get to the other side of the trailer again. Now we're gonna start turning the wheel preemptively. Don't run into the silo. Dude, this is this is a mess. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring her around this way. We've got an hour and 17 minutes. Hopefully we have enough time here. We're not gonna hit the the picnic benches. Oh, or just give it a little love tap. We're gonna st straighten her out. Sorry, it's my first day on the job, ma'am. So we're gonna wanna go a little bit. Dude, it is so hard to get these trailers to go where you want them to go. Cause the turning, it just takes so long to turn. There. There's a four star. You know what? Oh, five star. Let's go. I think that's a, a pretty generous five star there. We absolutely tore up the parking lot here. Is this not... I mean, let me check jobs. Is this... Yeah, this should... Th there's only one office here. This is the person we talked to. <sighs> apparently, we've got the, the wrong location. I, I don't know what to tell you, but apparently, we're going to take this over to the, the giant flashing square area. Had it up to my wits in with you, so we're... Ah, there it is. The trailer is now within the parking space. I'm assuming we're gonna wanna put the trailer off on its its own. We're gonna wanna de detach it. I, I really hope this is the right assumption. Unplug these sockets here. I think we've got a, a flashlight, right? Is there a flashlight? Maybe not. Dude, it's, it's so cold out here. We're... What? Bro, what? If we end up dying here because it won't let me in the truck because the trailer's not fully disconnected? Bro, come on. Come on. Come on. Are we done? Get me in the truck. Oh my goodness, dude. It was so cold outside. All right, we're good. So the trailer has been undone. I really hope 
we didn't need to have the trailer done to finish it. I, I'm, I'm gonna drive over there. It's not worth the risk. Absolute disaster of a job here. Gotta hope that this is the, the right area for it. I, I think it is, but you can never be too sure. So we're, oh my goodness, dude. Our thing frosted over again. This is the biggest pain in the butt. Never truck during a blizzard, bro. It's, it's miserable. All right. Man, there's only so much I could do. It is... Uh, absolutely terrible out here if you want it changed you're gonna have to do it yourself let's go okay so our reputation took a bit of a hit because we died in the last one but it's our ne nearly died and we lost we got a one star but we're now back up to a three and a half star we got 220 experience no cargo penalties we did it with an hour and 17 minutes to spare and we're feeling pretty good looks like we've got some uh some jobs where we could just kidding we can't we can't afford them we need a, a C or a D class license to be able to get that done. So we're going to have to make our way back to, to civilization. We're going to have to, uh, honestly, I, I'm, I'm kind of over the ice road trucking. I, 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 we've, we've seen it. We've seen the actual, you know, on the ice roads and dying to it. We've also seen going up the mountains. It's fun, but I, I definitely miss being able to be outside without a coat on and, and worrying about dying and, and constantly freaking out about the weather. So... I might end up waiting. I might do a couple jobs off screen. We'll see what happens. It's, you know, getting kind of towards ish the end of winter, which is good. Might be able to get some nice spring temperatures rolling here in Alaska. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more for this game, let me know. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, peace out. Stay warm out there.